The town of Plymouth, in conjunction with Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital, recently celebrated its third annual Healthy Plymouth Summit, where discussions centered around how far they've come in implementing healthier choices for residents to live and eat by. Also discussed, the needs to be done to the pressing issue of drugs and drug addiction in the community. BCN was there in attendance. But happy to say that today is the third annual Healthy Summit uh, for Plymouth. Uh, we started this effort in the, uh, 2011. And essentially what we did was we took a lot of diverse community leaders and organizations that were all involved in some fashion in, in advancing health in the community. And we tried to convene a group to begin to build some momentum, some consensus around things that we could improve and make it easier for folks that live in the community to make healthier lifestyle choices. Specifically, we're going to be talking about programs that we've put in place to move the needle on obesity, uh, physical activity, uh, smoking cessation, and then behavioral health and substance abuse. Over the last uh, few years, we've had the opportunity of working with uh, the community of Plymouth to really look at healthy options for uh, our students and also for the community at large. So today's event is really to uh, really provide an update to the community of the progress we've made and uh, kind of uh, celebrate some of those successes but also um, outline the future of the things that we really need to do to uh, help our community become a healthier community. I want to speak to you from the heart. We have a serious problem. In our community. We have a serious uh, drug problem uh, in, in this area and while it's fine to talk about the nutrition programs and get people out walking, we need, we need to make a commitment as a community and area communities to start addressing this program um, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, we'll get some support for it today. We uh, just lost two young people of our community this week and we need to address the issue. Plymouth has made a strong commitment through dollars and uh, manpower for a street unit but we need more than that. We need to get to these young people uh, before another tragedy happens. The takeaway that I want people to walk away with today that there's nothing like the power of a community to come together and really attack issues like health and I think this is a great opportunity for everybody to come together uh, listen about the you know listen to the things that we've done uh, also take and absorb the things that we really need uh, for the future now we're at the point that we're going to take a serious run at, at putting together a system for behavioral health care and substance abuse. It's a huge problem in the community and uh, happy to announce today that the hospital received almost a $4 million grant uh, to put programs and services together to take care of some of the most uh, needy citizens in the community and we're going to take a real run at it.